Uh, Coach Orr, Coach, you want to open up? Uh, to God be the glory. Um, just a, a statement about, a, a little bit about uh, God willing the last two games, uh, regular season games at Anderson at least. Um, you know, it's, a, it's really a, a privilege for me to be a part of uh, Anderson Arena's uh, Really, it's uh, illustrious and long-term history. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, first of all, great fans. You know. They call it the house that roars, and that's because of the people, not because of the building. It's because of the support of the Bowling Green State University, the university, and the, the students and the community. Longtime fans who are loyal uh, supporters of uh, the Orange and Brown and uh, got a lot of great memories. So uh, it's been a privilege and honor, really, a, and a blessing to be a part of that. Uh, and these uh, last couple of games, I uh, hope our, our guys understand uh, really how much uh, great history and how many. Uh, people that walked on that court, played on that court before they have, and how many great fans have supported uh, this, this program throughout the years in this building. So, And then secondly, uh, Joe Jakubowski is a senior. Mike Dabney is a senior, uh, but I want to talk about Joe. Um, such a senior day tomorrow. Uh, I, I really... Uh, I give honor to Joe. I, I respect him. And being a Christian and myself and being a man that uh, really uh, is conscious of, uh, not that I live a perfect life, I'm far from it, but I, I know of who, who I am in the Lord. I know whom I am or whose I am. Uh, you know, it's important to me uh, to try to live the values of Jesus Christ. And, and to see a young man like Joe in college, and I, I, I've i been around college athletics enough, uh, uh, and college, uh, just the environment, and enough to know uh, there's some Christians out there, but there's a lot of things uh, that go on on college campuses uh, for a young Christian man that's trying to uh, live a, a life to honor God. It, it's, uh, it's not an easy walk. So... Uh, you know, first and foremost, I, com I, I, I commend Joe for uh, the walk, the, the, the stance that he's made in his life uh, as far as uh, to live for, for Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, he's, he's bold about it, and uh, he walks the walk. So, you know, I commend him because uh, I was a college student, and I wasn't where he was, and I, I see where... Uh, it, it, you know, it's not an easy life, so I, I commend that. And uh, he's representing—he he's represented himself, his family, and the Lord uh, in a great way. Uh, and uh, he came in when I came in. We came in together. We've been through uh, the peaks and the valleys, and you know, every game. So, uh, you know, uh, I. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him and appreciation for Joe Jacobowski. Um, and then Mike Dabney, uh, I respect him uh, because of where he came from. Uh, first year he tried out, uh, he didn't have the, the, the academics to be a part of the team, but he was a determined guy. And uh, he worked hard in school to raise his grades and get himself in a position where uh, if he was able to, to be a part of the team. And he had a goal and he achieved it. You know, and he's helped us uh, win some games. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, after after college, uh, with his determination, he'll be successful. He wants to possibly go to law school and uh, may want to play basketball uh, professionally at some level. So I wouldn't count him out. He's a guy that uh, has risen to the level, and I commend him. Uh, and uh, you know, I, he's been a guy that's grown a lot over the last couple of years. So. Those two guys uh, as seniors, um, I appreciate the efforts.
That's it. Questions? You guys got questions? Yeah, uh, talking about your two seniors, uh, Coach, uh, a little on the court, I mean, both of them probably are not having the senior year that they want to have. You talked a little bit about, though, they have found times to step up. And I, I know you mentioned it with Mike. Uh, they've won some games for you. Joe has helped win some games. I'm thinking of Toledo. Will you talk a little bit about that perseverance to kind of get through the valleys to reach the peaks? Well, I, I, uh, you know, you, uh, sports is really a metaphor for, for life. I mean, You're going to have some valley experiences. You're going to have some peak experiences. And, you know, we still got a lot of important basketball to play. So, I, I mean, I'm not one of them guys that's going to reflect about the, this season because there's a lot of games left. Uh, you know, I think uh, for us, we've been a resilient team all year. And I was just looking. I know I come in to talk with you guys, and I was just looking around and looking at our season up to this point, and uh, you know, we've been a team that's persevered, uh, and it's been a, a team of uh, extreme. It's been a, a team of ex a season of extremes so far. You know, we we go we go one and eight to start the year. We go, I think. Probably a, a eleven and four at one stretch, and if my math is correct, you know we we lost our last five games. So we we've been uh, definitely in in valley situations and we've been in peak situations. Uh, but the season's a marathon, and, and Joe's one guy that understands it because Joe has a championship ring, and he's seen us. Do some really some miraculous things over four years at times, and he's seen us have some some runs, and he's seen us go through some valley situations. But uh, you know the the Bible says uh, in Romans eight twenty eight, all things don't say some things, but all things work together for the good for those that love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. Uh, that's a promise from God, so. I know from Joe's perspective, there's a lot of words of encouragement because they encourage me. They encourage me. Uh, so, you know, when you run a marathon, it, it, it's never where you start, it's where you finish. And you can't have a short memory. Uh, you know, we've, we've persevered and we've been resilient and we've had some, back, some, some peaks. We've had some runs in this season, so we have a frame of reference. And I think with Joe uh, and Mike, they need to finish this season as strong uh, as possible uh, by giving it their all, which I know they will. And our guys stay positive. And uh, there's a lot of important games to play and a lot of things we can accomplish. So. Uh, the, the, the season no more than a metaphor for life. You know, you, you got to persevere through uh, the trials and the tribulations, and that builds character. And uh, that's what college to me is all about. I mean, if it's just about books, you probably could do two college in two years. If it's just about going to class, you wouldn't need four. But you, you need time to mature and grow, and you need to learn how to deal with the, some of the trials and tribulations, and you need to go from being a young man to a man. So, uh, and I think these two guys that, uh, not just this season, but for Joe, a career has helped him learn that and also helped his faith to grow because he's seen God do some great things. So, again, to God be the glory. I, I'm appreciative of, to both of their efforts. And again, our season, uh, we got a lot of important games to play. Talk about what happened the first time at Kent. Uh, that was one of those games where, I mean, we, we at Kent, we, we probably have been a, a, a slow starters there uh, over the years. Uh, we won there a couple of years ago, and I remember being down early and 
been fighting back at the end of the half. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, they they did a really good job of shooting the ball, and they uh, they hurt us on the offensive boards. But uh, you know, our team it was early in the year, and I, I don't think they had won a game. Uh, I think it was the second or third game of the year, and they were at home, and I don't think they had won a game. So it was it was a big game for them. But every game is a big game. So uh, uh, for us here, uh, we know what's at stake for us, and we also know what's at stake for Kent. You know, they, you know, they in first place, and they probably fighting for a league championship. I think with Miami, right? So I ask because I, 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 you know, I, my focus has been on us. But uh, like every game this time of year, we all playing for something, and we're all playing for positioning in the. Uh, uh, in the MAC tournament, you know, and for them, you know, they're competing for a MAC championship. So, uh, a lot of it's going to have to do with heart and desire, and uh, who wants to gain the most, and whose uh, will to win is going to be the strongest. At uh, at Kemp, though, they they hurt you. I thought mm -hmm. with their high low action with the two big guys, and then the dribble penetration too. He was a uh, the point guard was able to get Marie's in the lane. Up. I mean, uh, yeah, Pini, P P Perini yeah. almost had a triple double. Right. He was able to get in the lane. If he didn't shoot it, he got it to the open big guy. So that, are those a couple things you looked at on the film to try to correct for this time? Uh, you know what? We had one. We really, we really, I mean, that we had one practice, and we watched film. And we got, we got some things we got to work on in general. So uh, overall, they're probably the best offensive rebounding team in our league. And we're, we have been rebounding the ball. So that's a concern. Uh, Perini had a great game against us. He almost had a triple-double. He's one of the more physical and best rebounding guards they are. Uh, we talked about them. It, it wasn't as much the high-low, but it, it, them attacking us from the high post in general. Uh, dribble penetration with Rodriguez, with Perini. Uh, I thought uh, Randall Hope shot the ball well against us. And then uh, doing a good job on Green, much like uh, uh, the big fella from Miami. You know, those guys you, you got to deal with in the low post. And, uh, but they're a team that uh, they're going to attack you off the bounce. Uh, they will look for high lows. Uh, you have to put a body on man's, and, and he's a very good shot blocker. I thought he, he made a difference on the defensive end because he blocked some shots around the basket. But there's games now where he doesn't, uh, they play four guards and one big at times. So, uh, you know, we have to, we have to do a good job inside out. But, uh, you know, Teams have been shooting 37, 38% from three against us, so we, we got to guard the three-point line. But their guards, especially Rodriguez uh, and Perini, are two guys we got to do a good job on dribble penetration. In. Uh, but that's every game. You know, we have to do a really good job of keeping them guys out of the lane. And then we got to, it's got to be one and done. You know, we got to rebound the defensive boards. So, you know, but this time of year, uh, you try to take away team strengths, but you 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 gotta you gotta do your job. I mean, you know, and for us, we gotta defend and we gotta rebound the ball. And, and this is one game where really, you know, we gotta do a good job from the inside out. Coach, will you talk a little bit about the 